Hello guys, I'm Raida Boost and in this brief video we take a look how to download and install Autodesk Revit 2022. Obviously there are different ways how you can download the software, so let's take a look what those options are and actually there is one new option which um, is called Autodesk Custom Install. We also take a look how you can simplify the download procedure using that option. So, Let's start from Autodesk website and uh, autodesk.com and you can also include Revit in here to land directly onto Revit page and depending on um, which version is currently active, the latest version, you can see a download free trial option just uh, in the top row and uh, if I click download free trial then I can basically see what kind of available platforms I do have, Windows 64. I can also see other system requirements. Please take a look before you actually download or install it into your own machine. And uh, I can also see a estimated maximum uh, file size, which is about 16 gigabytes. So ensure that you have enough room in your PC. I can then click next. And now I will select which kind of user I am because currently I'm selecting a trial or let's say I want to just uh, try it out. So in that case it doesn't really matter which one I pick because it's the same installer and later on once I use a serial key I can uh, state uh, how my product is activated. I do prefer to select business user even if I'm later on activate it as a student or teacher. So because if you select student or teacher then you will be redirected to um, Autodesk educational um, website. Yes, business user also choose your language English and then I click next and now I have to create a Autodesk account or if I already have one then I can simply sign in. You can create Autodesk account for free. So it's just a way how Autodesk communicates with the license and uh, product that you download and install. So you have to have one, even if you don't plan to buy it. So you have to create one account and uh, it's free to do that. So it's just Autodesk account. So I click next and sign in because I already have one account ready. And then I have to include some information about uh, a company. So I fill in this part as well and then I can click begin download. So I hit begin download and now I should see that uh, I do have a Revit and web install.exe available. So this clearly indicates that um, I'm currently downloading only a small part of um, uh, downloadable files and uh, once I start installation then during installation um, I basically select what options I want to have. Because it's a web install and I'm actually not downloading a full package to my computer, so I do prefer other ways to do it. But um, of course it's easy way to do it and you can also later install additional packages. But I will also show you uh, in a moment different other ways how you can do that. If I, let's say, download this web install, let's take a look. I include a subfolder and maybe also web install and then I download it. So as you see, it's only eight megabytes. But uh, once this is done, this will download a small additional package. So I hit yes. My installation is currently prepared. And now I can select I agree to terms of use next. And then you can see that basically I'm ready to install. So it's really easy to install in such a way, but uh, be advised and uh, remember that you can't select any content packs. Those content packs can be added uh, at later steps, but there are ways in where you can select those content packs with your uh, downloadable files and then it makes things a lot easier to install because you don't have to worry um, from where I, I can get this content pack or whatever. So because of that I don't install it right now so I close this installer but this is one way to do it and now let's check another way to do it. 
So uh, I could do autodesk.com and education. If you are a student or educator, then you obviously use this portal to download and install your products. And this is also your um, one and only place basically from where you can activate or from where you can get your license keys. Again, you have to have an account and you have to activate this account uh, as a student or educator. So there is a kind of a validation um, step needed in where you have to prove that you are a student or educator. And uh, then once you have created your account, this account is validated. You can see that uh, I'm logged in right now. Then you can uh, scroll down and uh, just try to find uh, from where you can find or access the downloads. Yeah. So for example, students or educators, I click educators, then I scroll down and I can see that, okay, confirm your eligibility to access. So I hit get products and then I need to sign in once again. So sometimes it's not automatically done. So uh, this sign in, yes, I click again, sign in. So once the sign in is accepted, I can see if my account is validated. If it doesn't, then there will be additional screens in where you have to select which university and as such. You probably have to also prove or include some kind of uh, uh, document that you are a student or educator. And uh, then once this step is ready, I can see all products that are available through my Autodesk educational licensing system. So, and from here I can see Revit and I hit get license. Once again, I can see sign in, but this should disappear automatically. I do wait a bit. And now I can see a message that uh, you are confirmed. So get Autodesk software. Now I can select license type. So because I plan to install it uh, without network server, then I select this option. If you are IT manager in your university, then of course um, you can uh, select uh, deploy with network server. So um, options are available. And uh, then I select uh, Revit 2022 operating system, only Windows 64 bit available and language English. Now I can see a serial number and also product key. I can also see file size which is about uh, 12 gigabytes. And basically I can now scroll down and hit download now. From here, I can see different options. I can download using my browser, which sometimes divides your files into multiple files. So you have to be extra careful that you download all those bits. Uh, but uh, I currently recommend to use download now. So if I select download now, then this will download Autodesk Download Manager, which is a small program. And this helps to download uh, the full package of Revit. Yeah? Using Autodesk uh, Download Manager, it is also a lot quicker to download the product or those files. I click uh, open Autodesk Download Manager. And then again, I can select to where I want to download those files. I select some different uh, folder. So for example, Autodesk, maybe make new folder. I want to keep a different folder structure and maybe this is now download manager. Okay, I hit okay. And then I can click okay also in this dialog. And it should start to download my files. It may take some time. So as you see, it's about 12 gigabytes and it's up to your internet speed, how much it takes. And uh, once this is uh, finished, um, it will fire up this installation dialog straight away. But of course, you can decide, do you want to install it now? Or you can do that um, later, maybe tomorrow, whatever. So uh, in that same location, what I selected, you can find this uh, setup exa. Let's keep it running. And uh, while it does, I will show you a third option. Um, which is uh, quite new, fresh one. Uh, it's called Autodesk Custom Install. And in there, you can actually select what you want to include into your downloadable package. And uh, you can also include different plugins and also you can select different content packs. But the only difference is in here that uh, 
you have to be a current subscriber, otherwise you don't see those options. For example, if I'm using a educational license and uh, I have activated basically my product already because uh, I can see my license key, yes, in a minute or so it should go also into my Autodesk um, um, main account. So it's called uh, manage.autodesk.com. Either you are educational user or commercial user, you can use the same address manage.autodesk.com. You will log in uh, using the same username and password that you are using um, during your educational account or commercial account. And then you can see an option custom install. So actually I have shown it already in my previous video, but because now I want to download Revit, let's do it again. So I select custom install, then I select license type, serial number, and then I can see a selection of products. The list is available because uh, I'm already have used so softwares. Yes, if you haven't, you may see only Revit in here because uh, I was kind of activating uh, through educational portal only Revit. If you haven't done any activations or uh, kind of uh, downloads, then you don't see any option in here. So you have to be a kind of current user. Remember that. So I select Revit. Now I can see a latest version. Well, actually latest version is 2022 at the moment. So if I select a specific version, I can see now Revit 2022 and I select this one. I can see my serial number and product key. I can hit customize product registration so that uh, during installation I can uh, kind of um, select which serial number I want to use or activation. Yeah. And then which is good in here is that uh, I can download different plugins straight away and uh, I can also select uh, different content packs. So for example, if I go and select customization and I will scroll down, I can see that I can change content path variables. Usually I don't change those uh, variables, but uh, I also have selection of optional components. And in here I can select what I want to uh, include into my download. Quite often those options are available um, through uh, extra step, for example, using Autodesk desktop app from where you can find different um, plugins, yes, for your product. This custom install lets you to select all those um, components, plugins, straight away. Um, of course, considering that they are available at that moment. Because quite often we see that uh, some plugins are not available straight away when new version is coming out, so you have to wait maybe a week, maybe a month, but uh, then those are available. And then obviously you can create a new custom install if you want to, or you can apply those uh, plugins using Autodesk desktop app. Those are also available in here under products and services, all products and services, and you can find also different updates in here. So you don't have to create a totally new custom install. It also depends uh, how many machines you want to include, yeah? how many installations you want to carry out. So let's see what options we have in here. E-transmit, work sharing, generative design, all good, form it, I want to keep it, product feedback, okay, let's keep it, personal accelerator, yes. And then I can see that um, if I'm a metric user, then I remove those that I don't want to have. So for example, I don't need imperial content, I keep US English and uh, UK English, uh, but I do remove all other uh, countries. Yes, you can install at later steps so as well, uh, but uh, right now I want to save some space. Well, obviously they are adding up uh, quite a few maybe megabytes, yeah, because uh, those are not full content packs, as it says, essential. Yeah, so. If you want to, you can keep those. Sometimes it's good to see what is available in uh, different country packs. So removing those, I can also include Revit server or custom application settings. And now extensions part. In here, I can select those different plugins. For example, Revit InfraWorks uh, workflows, Solar Analysis, Revit database link, 
Robot Structural Analysis extension. All those are familiar if you are a current uh, Revit user. Lighting analysis and also which is good in here is that I can select BIM interoperability tools. Now all selected. Remember if you don't want to do that straight away or if you are using a web install you can download and install those separately at later step. So I select content now and in here I can now select uh, kind of full content based on my country and in here I do have uh, for example US English available but it's also available as imperial and metric content. So that's it. Basically I have done uh, quite many selections which simplifies my installation at later steps because all those will be installed together yeah, in one go. But again uh, in terms of full content packs, I can show you that uh, there is uh, websites uh, from where you can add up uh, different uh, country packs. Okay, I scroll back on the top and now what I can do is I can go through again if all selections are that I wanted to do and now I hit next. So I can rename my installer, for example, uh, let's say Revit custom installer. I can select install or deploy, so different options. Deploy has been available through normal installation as well beforehand. Again, if you plan to install it um, into many machines, then it's a good option. Now I can select or change installation path. So I keep it as it is, so default one. And of course, I have to agree to the terms of use. Now I hit create installer. And this step may take some time, but once it is finished, you can then start to download it to your machine as a specific installer. Yeah, as you see, Revit custom installer. Again, I'm using a different option here so that I can easily find which one is which. So Autodesk uh, Revit 2022 and let's use custom install. It's mainly because of this video, custom install, Autodesk Revit. So I select this folder. This is just one exe file. It will start the download into different folder usually. So I hit save and this is uh, just about 12 megabytes. So it's a small file, but it's like a download manager, which now connects to Autodesk server and starts to build up this uh, um, specific uh, installation package and which will be then downloaded into your machine. Once this file has been downloaded, as it says, you have to double click on this exe file and then you have to agree that you want to fire it up. And now you can see Autodesk custom install setup and it will start to create a specific installer based on uh, what you have selected. Let's wait once uh, this is finished and then we can see how to install Autodesk Revit. So once this custom install is also downloaded, we can then check our hard drive and see those different options, uh, how we can install our product. And by the way, those methods that we just uh, took a look, um, they are quite common to different Autodesk products as well. So let's see our hard drive now. As you can recall, we have here different options that we were using. One option was web install. And if I open this up, I can see very small file. And this web install um, is good for if you just want to quickly download and install it. But it's not so good if you want to repeat the installation, let's say in different machines. Now the second option was download manager. And in here, as I said, we actually download all the files first. And because of that, this folder is usually larger. For example, in my case, it is about 12 gigabytes. The only difference in here is that uh, it doesn't have all those plugins that were available at the time um, when you downloaded it. So you have to install those plugins separately. And the third option was Autodesk Revit custom install. In here we can see a exe file that we fired up and then this was downloading our files into our machine and also was creating a 
a specific installer for a specific product. Now remember that as you see it's a quite a small file and if I take a look actually to where those files are downloaded it's a common location C drive Autodesk and from here you can also see that uh, you have install Autodesk custom installer and uh, by using uh, this PAT file you can start the installation. Remember that uh, if you intend to rename or remove those folders to portable drive you also have to change this PAT file. But you can also check uh, another video that I have made before how you can use uh, Autodesk custom install. So let's now move forward and let's check how the installation using download manager option looks like. So I open up this folder again and I hit setup.exe. I minimize my file browser. I need to agree the license terms. So I agree to the terms of use next. And then only selections that I can actually make are selecting to where I want to install my product and also content, the location of content. So I'm using this version of installation right now to show you actually what is installed and how you can kind of install that content that you are mainly interested of uh, later on. So currently I just hit install and installing Revit starts. So let's wait once this installation is finished and then we take a look what has been included and what we can add on top of this product. Well, it's quite an interesting to see that um, my installation is still going on, but I can already start a product. Anyway, now the installation is finished. I can see an icon at my desktop. I can also find it from my menu. If I search, for example, Revit, depending on which version I have installed, I can select the correct one and fire it up. I can also start from this dialog. So let's do that and let's see what has been installed. So start. Autodesk Revit 2022 will be initialized. I can see some marketing because I have not yet uh, activated my product. Then um, I can select what I want to do. If I do have a license, then uh, I can click already have a license and then I can just select which option to go. What is my kind of license type? Was it a serial number? Was it a user account or network license? For example, in my case, I do have a serial number option. So I select this one and then I can select, do I want to activate the product or do I want to run the product? Because 30 days I can run freely. It's a trial version. So I hit run right now. And now my Autodesk Revit 2022 starts first time. This is obviously a start screen or Autodesk Revit desktop view from where I can start a new project or create a new component family as it is called in Revit. But I can also check uh, what has been installed in terms of my content. I click on this uh, small icon then I can go to file and now I select options. If I select file locations, I can now see which kind of content was installed by default because we were not able to select anything. We basically did a silent install. Default content packs and also templates were installed. As I can see, I do have a selection of different templates and those are available in this location. So for example, if I select this location, I can see that uh, I do have some Autodesk Revit templates ready to be used. You basically do need a template to be able to start with your projects. What is also important is that you do have some content packs. And this is clearly indicated with default path for family template files. If I select browse, I can see that I do have family templates for all those countries. If I select, for example, English, I can see some basic content in here. But I can obviously add some additional content pack into the same location so that it is easily accessible and I can find those from one and only location. It can be any other location as well, which is accessible by Revit. But then you have to also ensure that this path is also changed. Once again, this is important to check what templates and what content packs has been installed. 
I hit console and then I select again my home screen. So home, file or just home and you are going back to your desktop. If you want to start with a new project, if you are a new user, then you can select new and then you select a template based on what you want to start it. For example, if you want to create some architecture, then you select architectural template. If structural, then structural template. And uh, in terms of different uh, systems, MEP, then systems template. But you can also select browse and select any template from any location. And then once you have selected the template, then you create a new project. You're not creating project template, but you're creating new project. Make a difference in between project and project template. Project template, yes, you can assign different uh, settings that are available with any new projects later on. And then you can make it accessible again through this menu. But right now I'm interested uh, to create a new project. So I hit OK. And now my full user interface will be opened up and I can see all the tools and tool palettes in terms of Autodesk Revit. If I want to activate my product, now this depends on um, which kind of user you are. Are you commercial user or educational user? To activate your product, you can select your name and then manage license. So this account is the same Autodesk account that you were using while you downloaded your product. So for example, I was downloading it from Autodesk Educational Portal. So my license is also available in that portal. And because this time it is a serial key, serial number, then I can just include this serial number and activate my product. So manage license, I can then select activate. Now I can select enter serial number. Now I have the same screen as before, but now I select activate. And then I have to include my serial number. This serial number is also available through Autodesk app. For example, if I go and open up my Autodesk desktop app, I can go to my products and tools. And in here I do have also Revit 2022 because I was using the same account when I downloaded the product. So that's because I can see also my product in this screen. And I can just quickly find my serial number input into this box and then I can activate quite quickly. So let's do that. I hit next and then I should see a thank you for activating. My license is all good. I can click finish. I may need to restart my product to be able to see that uh, it's not unregistered version anymore. If I close Revit and open it up again, then now I don't see any marketing dialogue anymore but uh, I do have my educational version ready. And then I can just click again, new, new project and start doing something great. In addition, you can also include or install additional plugins on top of Revit. There was a different workflow as I showed you during custom install. In where we selected our plugins and then those were included during installation. But currently, I'm using the version in where I don't have those plugins. And as such, I just need to go to my Autodesk app and see what's available. So for example, I can close my Revit. I can go and select Autodesk app. Then in here, I do have also my updates. And from here, I can see which plugins are available. And as you see, actually those same plugins that I selected during custom install option are available also now. So you can just click one by one and include those into your current Revit installation. For example, I select maybe this BIM interoperability tools. I click update. It will be downloaded, then installed. I hit install again. And once the installation is finished, I can click finish. And then this also disappears from this screen. And I can continue with different other updates. Also Revit updates are coming to the same screen. I can click close, I can hit Revit again, I can click new project, okay. And then I can see a separate uh, ribbon tab, what I just uh, installed. So in that way, you can do a Autodesk Revit 2022 installation. You have multiple ways to do that. 
like uh, web install, which I don't recommend, only in those cases when you really need a quick installation and uh, you also ensure that uh, those options that you need are available in that web install. So my recommended option is that uh, you use Download Manager, but also if you need to install a product multiple times into different computers, then this custom installation is also really good. It doesn't mean that uh, you have all options available straight away. Um, you may have to wait, meaning that uh, if a new product is just uh, coming out, then all plugins may not be available just yet. So in the future, you may need to update this custom install so that it can be again uh, used for different installations quickly, including different plugins that you need or your users need. Okay, I hope that you enjoyed this video and you learned something new. If you want to have more videos like this, um, please do subscribe to my channel and see you next time. If you got excited to see my next episode, please do subscribe to my channel and you get notifications once I upload a new video. Bye bye.